Hurry up and break up with my big brother, you lowly peasant. You're too destitute to even utter his name in the same breath. How long are you going to deceive yourself into believing you could ever be worthy of being his girlfriend? Um, first of all, I'm not a peasant. I've asked you repeatedly, can't you just address me by name? Why must you continually belittle me? Oh, the peasant is getting uppity with her betters, huh? Know your place, for it's far beneath the likes of us. I know that you're just a gold digger after my brother's money. Everyone who chases after money like you is nothing but a peasant. And what's wrong with calling a peasant a peasant? The reason why I'm dating Maverick is not because I want his money. I don't care if he has money or not. How many times do I have to say the same thing before you listen? You're not saying the same thing. You're lying over and over again. How many times will it take until you admit what you've been doing and stop it? You need to break up with my brother. Are you too stupid to understand simple English? Gianna, that's enough. People of your ilk are all cut from the same cloth, aren't they? My big brother is going to be the next head of the family company. And that, my dear, is your sole reason for clinging to him, isn't it? You fancy that if you date a future company president, then someday maybe you'll get lucky and marry into a rich family, don't you? I won't let that happen. I'm telling you, that's not what I'm thinking at all. Gianna, I wish you would trust me one day. If you're willing to lie through your teeth, then you can say whatever you want. But I know the truth, and I won't let you get away with it. You're definitely just dating my brother for his money. Gianna, why do you think so badly of me? I won't let my brother be fooled by a woman like you. Someday, I will make sure that the two of you break up. And that's a promise. Well, what if I told you that Maverick and I are getting married? <laughs> You too? Get married? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Actually, it's true. Maverick proposed to me the other day. Without hesitation, I said yes right away. No, I don't believe it. I know you've always hated me, Gianna, but I hope we can change that. I thought maybe if we got married, you'd accept me as your brother's wife. I was hoping that you'd welcome me as your sister-in-law. Gianna, don't you realize how much your words hurt me and Maverick? You're such a liar. This is obviously a lie. It has to be a lie. There's no way my brother would propose to someone like you. He would never do such a thing. But it's not a lie. It's the truth. Do you want to see the engagement ring he gave me? It's a beautiful ring. This is your engagement ring? Yes, it is. <laughs> Look at how it sparkles. I can't accept this. I will never accept this. You will not marry my brother. How could my brother marry someone like you? I will never accept this. You will never be my sister-in-law. Gianna, what did I do to make you hate me this much? Oh, don't get too cocky, peasant. Just because my brother proposed to you doesn't mean you're worth anything more than dirt. I swear that I'll stop your wedding if it's the last thing I do. As long as I live, you will never be allowed to marry him. Willow, we have a problem. The invitations to the wedding have been erased from my computer. They've been what? What are we going to do? I was supposed to give the data to the printer today. I had everything planned out. And you worked so hard on the design of the invitations. Well, uh, I'm so sorry for my mistake. This is all my fault. Ugh, calm down, Maverick. It's not a big deal. I made sure to keep a backup on my own computer. Really? That's a relief. Yeah, so don't panic. Everything's fine. I'll email you the data right now, Maverick. Or, if you prefer, I can take it to the printer and meet you there. Thank you, honey. You're a lifesaver. <laughs> it's nothing. Don't worry about it. But this is strange. 
The list of people we decided to invite was also deleted a while ago, remember? And how many times has the footage from the DSLR camera been corrupted? Hmm. Maverick, your computer must be in a really bad shape. I thought so too, so I actually bought a new computer recently, but this still happened. I can't believe the data is still disappearing even after I bought a brand new computer. Could it be that it's not a problem with your computer, but something else? Maybe someone is messing with your files. Uh, how about I handle the data from now on? I'll send copies of the data to you, Maverick. I don't want to think about it, but I have a suspicion about what might be going on. I wonder if this could be Gianna's doing. If it's not a hardware or software issue, then it must be sabotage from someone else. Ugh, I know you don't want to doubt your own sister, but I think you're probably right. I also feel like this is getting out of hand. I've actually heard her bragging about deleting files and damaging things around the house. What? Is that true? Yeah, it is. I've been backing up everything until now, so luckily it's all been okay. But what if she escalates and tries to do something that we didn't anticipate? It could ruin everything! You're right. This can't go on. I have to do something about this. I have to confront Gianna and make her stop. You should also make sure that you need a fingerprint to unlock your computer for now. It might be a good idea to secure anything else you might try to tamper with. Yeah, good idea. I'll look into what kind of things I can do to protect our important stuff from her interference. Sorry for putting you through this, Willow. No, don't apologize. It's not your fault. Alright. Well, I'll see you later, okay? Alright, honey. I'm so lucky to have you by my side. I love you. Hey, hope you dropped dead. <laughs> have you been crying in the dressing room? <laughs> you got soaked in wine and it ruined all your efforts. The dress, the makeup, <laughs> all gone. <laughs> I can't believe you did this to me, Gianna. How could you pour wine over my head? Especially during my wedding ceremony. It was the perfect time to do it. When else could I humiliate the poor girl who pretends to belong with the rich and famous? If only I had some pig's blood. It was so satisfying to see you drenched in wine as you walked down the aisle. I've been waiting for this moment for so long. What is wrong with you? What have I ever done to make you hate me so much? Who are you to judge me for marrying your brother? We are in love. That's all that matters. I've never cared about your money or status. I've always tried to be nice to you, even though you've been against this marriage from the start. I thought pouring wine over me was a cruel enough revenge. There's nothing wrong with marrying the person you love. Shut up, peasant. I don't want to hear your nonsense. You're just a gold digger who wants my brother's money. Everyone who chases after money like you is a peasant. And peasants don't deserve to marry into our family. You've been forcing this wedding on us even though we don't want it. I thought ruining your wedding was a fitting punishment. Do you realize what you've done? You've destroyed the wedding of the brother you claim to love so much. The one who destroyed everything is you. You're the one who came between us. You're the one who seduced my brother with your lies. And you're the one who insisted on having this wedding, even though I warned you not to. Are you insane? I told you before that I would stop this marriage no matter what. So. The one who hurt my brother was actually you for stubbornly going ahead with it, despite my objections. You're the one who ruined this day by having this wedding ceremony. You're delusional. I deleted your guest list. But no, you didn't give up. I erased the designs of your invitations, but that didn't stop you either. Even though I did everything I could to make you call off this stupid wedding, you wouldn't listen. So it really was you, huh, Gianna? I had a feeling it was you. Who else but me? 
I'm the only one with the guts to do something like this. But despite everything, you were never discouraged. You didn't call off the wedding. And that's why I decided I had to go all out and embarrass you in front of everyone. <laughs> Your face when I poured wine on you was priceless. <laughs> I never laughed so hard. I'm still laughing now just... <laughs> <laughs> Just thinking about it. This is not funny at all. This is beyond a joke. You poured wine on me on my wedding day. I'll never forgive you for this, even if you beg me. <laughs> Why would I beg for your forgiveness? You filthy peasant, keep it to yourself. The wine on your head is my masterpiece, and I'm proud of it. I don't owe you anything. You're such a piece of trash. You have no shame or remorse for what you did. You better watch out for what's coming next. I'll make sure everyone knows what kind of person you are. Did you just call me trash? How dare you say that to me? Do you think it's okay to insult me like that? I'm Maverick's sister. You have no right to talk to me like that. If it looks like trash and smells like trash, then it must be trash. How can you say that to me, huh? How can a peasant like you have the nerve to say that to me? You're really getting on my nerves. First, you try to marry my brother for his money, then you call me trash? Stop messing with me. This is not a joke. Aren't you the one who's messing with me? I mean, I'm not the one who poured wine on the bride at her wedding. You're the one who came up with such a childish and immature plan. Shut up. I don't want to hear anything from you, peasant. What's wrong with pouring wine on the head of a bride when she's just a gold digger? Learn your lesson and stay away from my brother, peasant. You better brace yourself, you little brat. Did you just call me a brat? You haven't shown any regret for what you did. In fact, you seem to enjoy it. You better brace yourself for the consequences. I let everyone know who's looking for trouble. Me? Looking for trouble? Is that something you should say to someone of my status? You penniless peasant? Wine on your head suits you well. A stained wedding dress matches your shabby style. Hey, answer me. What the hell is going on? My whole room is soaked in wine. You did this, didn't you? You poured wine all over my stuff, didn't you? Don't you think it looks much better now? It was quite a challenge to do it. I knew it was you. The walls and floors are stained with wine. My favorite clothes and shoes are ruined by wine. Hmm. I thought they looked more elegant in wine red. Maybe you can still wear them after they dry. Oh my god, what have you done? You didn't spill wine on my computer too, did you? No, nope, yeah, I did that too. Why would you do something like that? I had a report that I had to submit tomorrow on there. If I miss the deadline, I'll get a zero on the assignment. I'm going to fail that class now. Well, I guess you'll just have to write it again from scratch, won't you? A computer that smells like wine is kind of classy, don't you think? You better get started on that report right away. Don't mess with me. How can you treat me like this? How can you just sneak into my room and vandalize it like this? Ugh, you're the worst. Mm, I don't want to hear that from someone who ruined my wedding dress and the ceremony. Is that why you did this? I told you to brace yourself for what was coming next. I was getting back at you for that wedding dress that you made me throw away with your stunt. I think we're even now. At least, for the dress. Stop talking nonsense. This doesn't make us even at all. Besides, your wedding dress was probably some cheap knockoff that didn't even cost 100 bucks, you broke loser. How does soaking everything in my room compare to what I did to that trashy wedding dress? Are you kidding me? Are you the one talking nonsense? That wedding dress that I was wearing was worth 50 grand. 
That dress was worth 50 grand? My parents bought it for me as a gift. They were so happy for me. But you had to ruin it. You had to ruin everything, didn't you? Of course. I was gonna drench your home in wine, Gianna. You deserved it. Wait a minute. Why would a peasant like you wear a dress that costs 50 grand? And did you say your parents bought it for you? There's no way your poor parents could afford a dress that expensive. My family is not poor. I admit, 50 grand was a splurge. But they could afford it. I don't know where you got the idea that I was a gold digger. Your family was rich all along? Yeah, that's right. I don't have to talk with you anymore. Maybe instead of staying here and getting mad, you should start rewriting your essay. Good luck with cleaning up the wine and writing your report. I heard Gianna was crying at the electronics store when she bought a new computer. Her room is stained with wine everywhere. It looks like she was writing a report for school, sobbing. Hey Maverick, you're the one who broke Gianna's computer, right? I was afraid of causing an electrical fire, so I didn't touch it at all. After you left, I felt like we didn't do enough damage. I decided to soak her things in wine as an extra payback. Even though we already poured wine all over her room together, you thought that wasn't enough? Gianna deleted all her data when we were planning the wedding, remember? She also deleted a bunch of my pictures with you at the same time. She did that too? She deleted all the pictures from our dates and anniversaries. I was transferring them from my phone to my computer. But she erased them from both devices. That's unforgivable. That's why I had to break her computer too. I can see why you were angry. Willow. Even though you told me to make sure all my devices were secure, I didn't do it. I regret that I kept putting it off because of work. Yeah, me too. I don't have any backups of those pictures either. Also, it was Gianna's fault that I had to buy a new computer because I thought mine was broken. It seemed fair to me to make her buy a new one too. I feel kind of good hearing about her crying over a computer. I wonder if this has made Gianna realize what she did. Yeah, I wonder that too. But no matter how much she regrets it, I won't forgive her. She ruined our special day. We can't have another first wedding. You're right about that. Oh, by the way, I have some good news about my wedding dress. I have a friend who owns a chain of dry cleaners. She said she might be able to get the stains out of the dress. She said that they have some amazing techniques for removing stains from clothes. Really? That's awesome. It seems that the staff at the wedding hall did a great job of helping me with the dress. She said it would take some time, but she should be able to restore it to its original white color. That's wonderful. Maybe we should go see the staff at the wedding hall and thank them for what they did. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a nice idea. I'll see you later, okay? I have to hurry and give her the dress. What have you done? You're the reason my parents kicked me out of the house, aren't you? They screamed at me saying they didn't want a disgrace like me in the family. Then I guess you'll have to face the consequences of your actions and leave. Ugh, don't give me that crap. Why should I have to leave my home? You're the one who disgraced our family by marrying my brother even though you're poor. I told you before that my family is not poor, remember? They are so wealthy that they could even afford to buy me a $50,000 wedding dress. Remember? Not that it should matter, even if I was. Just shut up! You're still inferior to my family. We run a successful business. Don't even try to compare your family to ours. I'm richer than you. That's a fact. Don't get cocky just because you married my brother. I'm not cocky. Besides, if you have enough time to talk to me, why don't you do something more productive? Like, I don't know, packing your stuff quickly and leaving like your parents told you to? That's what your parents told you to do, right? It's not respectful to disobey your parents. Shut up, shut up, shut up! I don't accept their orders. There's no way I'm going to leave this house. Why would my parents side with you? All I wanted to do was protect my brother from a gold digger like you. Protect him? Haven't you just heard him over and over again? That's why your parents are fed up with you too. 
And what do you know about it? You poured wine on your brother's bride as she was walking to the altar. How do you think your parents felt about that? Do you think they were proud of you? Do you think they were happy with you? No, they were appalled by you. They were disgusted by you. They were ashamed of you. There's just no way they felt that way. You're lying. You're just making things up. The person who looked the most disgusting at the wedding hall was you. You looked like a clown with the wine dripping down your face. Your dress and your makeup were all messed up. And it was hilarious. I still laugh when I think about it. Thanks for the entertainment. It was the perfect look for a peasant like you. <laughs> My family's assets are worth over a hundred million dollars. But yes, I'm a peasant. Wait, your family is worth how much? So there's something I'd like to ask you. What kind of look do you think is suitable for the heiress of a hundred million dollar fortune? Wait, 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 your family is seriously that rich? Over a hundred million? How much is your family's house worth? Tell me how much. You poured wine on the head of the daughter of such a wealthy family. Do you understand how your parents felt now? Do you realize how foolish you were? How does it feel to have this sudden revelation? I don't blame them for being angry with you. I don't know if I'd do the same thing if my daughter did that to my son's fiancé, but I might. I might also be the reason why they agreed to my parents' terms. What terms? You really are clueless, aren't you? Let me explain it to you clearly. The truth is my family is in the investment business. They were planning to invest some money in your family's company as a gesture of goodwill because Maverick and I were getting married. What? That can't be true. I don't believe it. It seems that your family was planning to expand their business with the help of my family's investment. It was going to be a large amount of money. But I'm sure my parents had second thoughts after what you did to me. Why would they invest in a family business where their daughter was humiliated by their son's sister? And on their wedding day, no less. My father was furious with me for marrying Maverick and wanted to pull out of the deal and bankrupt your family. Wait, our family business might go bankrupt? You should be glad that I'm not the kind of woman who gives up easily. I have no intention of divorcing Maverick because of this incident. And I also convinced my parents to calm down and reconsider. Oh, good. I'm glad I didn't cause any permanent damage. Well, I wonder, do you understand your situation now? Do you know why you're being kicked out of your house now? Well, I wonder if that was part of the deal that my parents made with yours. That's a lie. That has to be a lie. How can you not be a poor, worthless person? How can you be so rich? Practically a princess. Yet, yeah, the one acting like a spoiled princess is you. Before you leave home, there's just one thing I have to say. You still owe me money for the damage you did to my wedding dress. The stuff in your room didn't add up to 50 grand, so you'll have to pay me the difference. I think if you sell all of your expensive bags, you might get around 30 grand. Does that sound right to you? Mm, so that means you still owe me 20 grand for ruining my dress. Wait, we can work this out. How am I supposed to pay that back? Gianna, every time you go shopping from now on, you can just soak everything you buy in wine. Until you've wasted 20 grand worth of stuff. What? That's ridiculous. That's going to take forever. And I already have no clothes left, thanks to you. Well, I think I'm being very generous. I could always charge you interest. Then you would never pay it off. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, let's just calm down, okay? You're kidding, right? You're just joking with me, right? Look at your room covered in wine stains and ask yourself if I'm joking. I think you can tell that I'm not the kind of person who jokes around. You're serious? No, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm really sorry for everything from the bottom of my heart. I'm apologizing, so please forgive me. Please just forget about the wine thing. I won't do that. Well, cheer up, Gianna. You just have to keep working hard. Oh. And by the way, no matter where you try to hide, I'll find you and soak you in wine.
So, it turns out the whole Gianna mess took a wild turn. She mustered up some courage and went to her parents, begging for a whopping 20 grand to fix what she'd stirred up. Next thing I know, she's on her knees, offering me the cash like it's some sort of peace offering. And I figured, why not? It's better than dragging this out. And I'm not in the business of making anyone's life miserable forever. Plus, wasting stuff just for the sake of it never really sat right with me. After that bizarre twist, Gianna decided it was high time she flew the coop and made her own way. No more family safety net, except for the school bills. But even that came with strings. Her parents warned her that they'd yank the plug if she stumbled in any class. Suddenly, life got real busy for her. Balancing classes, a job, and the pressure of paying back those 20 grand meant she was in for a roller coaster. As for me and Maverick, we were determined to turn things around. Our wedding, the one that started all this madness, got a serious makeover. And let me tell you, it was absolutely perfect. All the struggles, the chaos, it felt like they were leading us to this beautiful moment. We had our dream celebration, and I swear, the universe was cheering us on.